going on everybody thank you guys for tuning into the life-changing finances youtube channel so today we're going to take a look at some of the best recession proof businesses that you can start during a recession okay businesses all right not businesses businesses all right let's get straight into it sweet treats even though consumers cut back on their spending during times of economic hardship People still allow room in their budget for what trend analysts call small indulgences. Though it may surprise you, businesses that deal with sweet treats like donuts and chocolates prosper during recessions. A brief recession between 1990 and 1991 saw the sale of donuts account for 15.7% of all bakery sales, almost two percentage points higher than in 1989. Many treats became popular during the Great Depression in the 30s. Snickers were born, Little Debbie hit the pavement, and Krispy Kreme was founded on the sale of thousands of yeasted donuts. Good information. Years later, when America faced the Great Recession, candy manufacturers like Cadbury, Nestle, and Hershey's yielded great profits. And thanks to Nestle, the Toll House Inn created the chocolate chip cookie. Since chocolate boosts serotonin and endorphin levels in the brain, it's natural that people turn to the sweet treat when they're feeling anxious. Cadbury's profits alone increased by 30% in 2008. If you're an entrepreneur with a sweet tooth, you may consider starting a bakery or chocolate tree. Put your treats above the rest by getting international with your recipes and create items that are either gluten-free, low sugar, or vegan. The more options you provide, the larger your customer base. Cleaning services. All right, so let's talk about idea number one. So sweet treats, right? Even now where I am, the donut businesses are taking off, right? Um, some of the most popular ones here are obviously going to be Lone's Donuts. I'm here in Indianapolis. That's one of the most popular ones here. You've got Jack Donuts. All of those businesses are taking off. Uh, along with that, you have ice cream businesses that are taking off as well. Even though we're in the winter, a lot of the ice cream businesses are really taking off. The cupcake businesses are taking off. All of the sweet tree businesses right now are taking off. Now, even though we're in a softer recession right now, and analysts, some analysts think we're going to go into a harder recession, people will find a way to, to make themselves happy. And sweet trees are one of the ways that people are doing that. So, hey, if you got access to... Even doing a, a strawberry business where you dip the strawberries in chocolate and sell them. You don't necessarily have to have a facility. Um, you can do it from the comfort of your own home and sell them locally or even online. So don't let something like a facility or some sort of storefront stop you from getting started. Let's continue. While residential cleaning services often take a hit during recessions, Commercial cleaning services are always ticking along no matter what the economy is like. After all, a clean office is a more productive workspace. Even though this is a competitive industry, there's plenty of room for improvement. Every year, the average cleaning company loses up to 55% of their clients due to poor service. If you offer thorough, high-quality services and even something unique, you have an excellent shot at succeeding in this market. Between 2007 and 2017, the cleaning industry grew on average at a rate of 6.6% each year, and industry revenue is predicted to increase over the next five years. Crazy. Having upsell services are a good way to cater to those who want an approachable entry-level price, while also finding more ways to increase your bottom line and create cash reserves. Grocery stores. Opening a grocery store. So let's talk about the, the cleaning business. So as she mentioned, it's all about customer service, right? Um, I've noticed that over the years, customer service has gotten worse and worse. I mean, even if you think about going through the drive through and getting, you know, a quick little bite to eat, the, the service is terrible. I mean, for me, for example, if I pull up somewhere, I'll say what I want. Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? You know, it's it's just different. You know, um, it, it's I don't know. I feel like even if the fast food industry is losing a lot of business because of customer service. But hey, if you focus your cleaning business uh, more so on the customer service aspect of it, 
letting them know you're there to help them and um you know you're you're there for them you're you're nice when you talk you're not a, an a-hole right i mean that'll take your business a long way so not only being nice but doing what you're saying you're gonna do what you're saying you're gonna do uh, along with doing a, a great job cleaning so a lot of people do a great job cleaning but they refuse to communicate with someone in a proper way so again a cleaning business is one of the best things that you can do uh rather you're in a recession or not uh also a cleaning business can be junk removal junk removal is one of those businesses that are really popping uh right now especially as a lot of cities like where i am still are building um a lot of houses so a lot of the uh real estate uh builders are needing junk remover so if you have a pickup truck and some sort of uh you know trailer where you can take you know the junk and and, and dump it at the scrap yard you can make a lot of money that way too i know people that are making over a thousand dollars a day doing that so again that's a part of the cleaning services as well so let's continue Tree store is a safe bet during a recession because as money gets tight, more people cook their own meals instead of going out to eat. Spending at grocery stores only dipped 1.6% during the Great Recession, while spending at restaurants dropped by nearly 13%. Grocery stores are known to flourish during economic hardships because of their essential nature. Kroger hired 16,000 people in 2008, and Trader Joe's started, expanded, and evolved through several different recessions. Mm -hmm. Better yet, even when a recession is not happening, this business is still successful. In the past five years, the grocery store industry has grown at a steady rate of 1.2%, and that rate is predicted to keep growing. By focusing on employee satisfaction and connecting with local food production, you can boost retention within your community. Child care. So let's talk about the grocery front. So you don't have to have a really big facility to do this just to get started. Um, one of the things I want to say is, is for myself, that's a known gardener and farmer here in the Indianapolis area. Um, if you partner with local uh, gardeners, uh, local farmers, uh, consumers really appreciate homegrown uh, products. So if, you know, you have uh, anybody, you know, that that grows, I mean, use that to your advantage. I mean, people want fresh produce. They want fresh tomatoes, cherries, uh, oranges. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. And if you can supply them with uh, fresh produce and it's reliable nothing's wrong with it they're not treated with any pesticides people will keep coming back to you and not only that homegrown has more flavor so whether you're talking cucumbers uh even if you're down in south florida with the bananas the bananas taste differently so a grocery business is is a, a lucrative business that you can start even during the recession Again, you can start small and scale your way up to a bigger facility. People will always want their children to have the best care, which is why this industry will stand the test of time. If you don't want to start your own entire child care business, you can still find profitable ways to support the people who are in that industry, or even support people who homeschool their children. The number of homeschooled children has been increasing at a steady rate each year. Over five years starting in 2007, there was an 18% increase in the number of children being homeschooled. There are now over 2.5 million students who learn from home. Consider ways you can provide supplies and resources targeted at this ever-growing group. Yeah. Here's another segment of the learning market. Single mothers and subsequently their children get hit hard during recessions. In 2009, single mothers of children under the age of six had an unemployment rate of 17.5%. Providing support such as affordable learning alternatives or ways to connect with reputable sitters will not only grow the economy but improve the childhoods of future generations. To boost your child care based business, Consider offering subjects that traditional schools cannot or do not have. Home economics, nature activities, and communication workshops can allow children to exercise their brains while having fun. 
thrift stores. All right, so me, for example, uh, my wife and I, we're expecting our fourth child. And I can tell you now, our kids are 10, 8, and 2. So our 2-year-old, we're paying nearly $1,000 per month on child care. So when I go in there, I see about 40 other kids in there. So that tells me they're making about, they're bringing in about $40,000 per month. And then when you factor in, they're paying their staff, you know, maybe, a, a, I don't know, I don't know what they pay them, but let's say if they're paying them 750 a week and, um, you know, you're looking at 3000 a month for one person. If you got four people in there, you're looking at 12. Um, and then you factor in the food. Let's throw in another couple thousand dollars. You still can profit about 15 grand a month or so. Um, off of that right that's that's if you own a bit the building but if you're renting out a facility maybe you, you're you're spending fifteen hundred dollars a month or two thousand even if that's the case uh you factor in the the the, the utilities you're still gonna profit probably over ten thousand dollars per month just off of that now child care is not only uh you know dropping your kids off to a daycare center it's also the education as they spoke about as well so even if you don't want to start a, a, a daycare business, you can also write books. Um, is We have so many easy apps you can use and you can create a children's book within a couple of hours. I mean, I've done it before. So there's so many different things you can do during a recession that people really, truly need. So let's move on to the thrift stores. Resale and thrift stores are one of the few types of businesses that actually thrive during times of economic uncertainty. Since the Great Recession and even the Great Depression, consumers have been trained to hunt for the best deals. This makes it hard for big department stores to compete with resale and thrift stores. An August 2009 survey of resale and thrift shops concluded that 64.1% saw an increase in sales from 2008 ThreadUp, an online clothing consignment service, is an amazing example of a unique thrifty option that sprung from economic hardship during the last recession. Half Price Books, a Dallas-based operation that sells used books and magazines, saw an increase in sales to around 200 million through 2009. There was also a rise of 10% for total sales, including the four new stores they opened in 2008 alone. The beauty of resale stores is that there's so much more available than clothes. People also want to furnish their homes and inexpensively treat themselves to games, books, and more. People tend to lean towards wallet-friendly DIY projects during economic hardships. They look to resale stores to fulfill those desires. The transaction is twofold. Customers enjoy recycling their old wares and making a quick buck, while the store itself offers unique items at affordable prices. Make your so yeah, the thrift store business is is really booming right now. Uh, even for for you know customers like myself, just yesterday I was in different thrift stores looking for different items um, that I pretty much got for over 90 percent off if i would have just went to you know a big retail store i mean the things that i bought were in like brand new condition you're getting the same items i mean you may have to wipe some things off or something like that but i mean you for me if you want to save money you can't be too good to you know use items that were already used before especially if they're in great condition but from a, a business perspective uh people are always looking to get rid of things um if you go on craigslist they're they're giving away things for free um you, family and friends they're giving away things for free because what tends to happen is we can uh accumulate so much junk or well, some people say it's junk but one man's uh junk is another man's treasure right but we accumulate so much stuff. Next thing you know, we're thinking we don't have enough room for, for all these items that we have, right? So when you want to get rid of them, what do you do? You go down to the Goodwill. You go down to a thrift store and you get rid of those items that you don't need. 
But hey, guess what? Somebody's willing to pay for that item. Somebody's looking for that item. Somebody wants a discount on that item that you're giving away. So if you get even a, a, a website where you put up the items that you, you, you're going to sell and, uh, you know, you have them pay for shipping or if you're only going to do it locally, you'll probably thrive even more. Uh, maybe start a Facebook group uh, for people that are interested in, you know, buying or, I mean, giving away stuff. And, you know, it, it, it can really benefit you if you have a group on Facebook uh, with people that, that like to get rid of stuff. So you can start your business that way. All right, guys. So those are some of the best recession proof businesses that you can start. Um, again, I think the ice cream business or, you know, the, the sweet treats is a really good one. Uh, if you get you somebody that can really supply you the goods um, or if, even if you're a person that creates uh, the, the treats from scratch, you know, get you uh, uh, some 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 whole some wholesales going that way you're not paying retail for the items that you're going to use okay all right guys enough from me hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments below and i'm out peace